Okay, first off, for those of you who like to know the end results of our games, it turns out we only had one Shadow Rift in the monster deck, so we had no physical way of winning. Oops. Or we won much earlier, depending on how you interpret it. At any rate, so, uh, what do we think? Well, uh, this is one of those games where my wife and I's opinion differ a touch. Um, personally, I find it strictly middle-of-the-road fair. It's decent, it works at doing what it tries to do, but it gets really bogged down in things like shuffling and shuffling some more, and that deck needs to be shuffled now, and then you gotta shuffle these cards, and oh my goodness, shuffling. But it does some things very, very well. It uh, The endlessly cycling town and traveler decks are really, really interesting. You know, it gives you a new array of powers or <laughs> possibly a warning sign of imminent death each turn. It gives you access to some really interesting characters and some really tough decisions. You know, do I get this gravedigger now, you know, and not get that spell I needed? Because if I don't, it's probably going to be ten turns before I see him again. But I really want that spell. And that's and one of the things I think the game does really well. The tension. Oh, yeah. Oh, it's absolutely a phenomenally tense experience. Because unlike most games, 50 bazillion monsters coming out that you're failing to kill and that are burning everything down doesn't necessarily mean you're losing because it's very much a game of mitigation, of just holding the line long enough for that rift to come out and get sealed. That is the core of the game. And since that feels so different from other games, where, you know, take Thunderstone as an example, generally you're not even going to go into the dungeon if you don't think, oh, excuse me, that you can beat down the monster that turn. I mean, there'd be no reason to. But in this, little plinky hits here and there, and possibly followed by the monster just escaping anyways, is not the end of the world. So Stupid lava surprise. <laughs> yes. Um, now, uh, production quality-wise, for the most part, it about matches its fairly low price. Um, I was fairly irked to discover literally two solid bricks of cards when I opened the box. I Whatever kind of finish or coating is on this just sealed the cards together. I had to sit there, you know, and manually and very carefully peel apart every bloody card. And there are a bazillion cards. It, it took a good 40 minutes of card peeling, which is ridiculous. But... You know, it's it's an inexpensive game, and I don't think I really damaged any of them that I can tell. So, no. while it was incredibly annoying, it was a one-time annoyance, to the, be fair. The but, black borders are going to start showing shuffleware if we don't cart, uh, sleeve them. Yeah, it happens. Yeah. You like it enough, we're probably not trading it, so. No. <laughs> now, so what do you like so much about it? Um, I like that we're working together, so you have to communicate. You can't just sit there and play solitaire next to a person. You have to be like, oh, hey, I'm going to get this guy. Do you need him more than me? So there's some legit communication going on that mm -hmm. I really enjoy. Um, I enjoy the continuous tension. Like, we're burning the village. The village is full of corpses. Oh, no. We should build a wall. Mm -hmm. There's always more options than actual. Is this a choices. Resident Evil keep the corpses in wall, or what's the plan? No, the wall is to block the thing so that the corpses stop building up. So that we can sit in peace with our festering corpse lined streets? Yes. Yeah. We like corpses. I'm going to say no to the wall. <laughs> um, no, and um, one of the ways. Uh, well, I mentioned one way to win. There's actually two ways to win. I totally forgot. If you build all of the walls, then, you know, and get them all into the deck, then you also win. But in my experience, it's really hard to build walls. 
because they uh, are expensive. Yeah, we've really not expensive. built many walls. Um, but yeah, no, I just, I don't know. It, when asked if I want to play this, I'll generally say yes, but it's not a game I will ever suggest, simply because, you know, it just, it feels like a great concept that gets kind of mired down in the execution. Uh, you know, I'd much rather play something like Thunderstone, where I'm just shuffling my deck occasionally, and that's about all I have to worry about with the little minutia of it. Yeah, the shuffling is a downside, but it's... Plus the leveling cards. You gotta admit the leveling cards are cool. Yeah, leveling cards are <laughs> Well, anyway, this is not a summary of Thunderstone. <laughs> uh, uh, so, Ben, I hope people watching this have heard of Thunderstone or know Maybe. anything about it because none of these references are going to mean anything. We could always do a video on Thunderstone. Yeah, we may have to. Well, stay tuned for Thunderstone. Then you can understand us. Yes, right. Anyway, um, so anything else you want to add there? Yep, I think we covered most of it. Now, for those of you who just care about the game, feel free to turn off the video now and, you know, go about your peaceful lives. Yeah, you know what, I don't need to jib-jab about the companies or anything. Suffice it to say, a lot of the background stuff annoyed the Bjork out of me. But the game itself, good, solid fun at a reasonable price. Uh, you know, I, as you can tell, we're a little split on a, you know, whether you need to buy it or not issue. But uh, if you Definitely liked what you least. saw, you could consider giving it a chance because it's cheap enough to be a reasonably safe bet. Though I would hold off for a little while, you know, check the date of this video before regarding this advice, uh, because a second edition that's different and changes things and is no longer compatible is on its way. So, uh, yeah, kind of one of the things that irks me. Before I'd even gotten my copy, no less. Thanks, guys. Anyway, so chances are by the time you're watching this, the second edition will already be out and you'll be fine. So, yeah. That should about cover it, I think. Um, yeah. Yeah. All right. So, until next time, get off your computer, go play some more games.